Hi, in this clip I'm going to show you how to run a Magic XPA application on the Android emulator. So at this stage you should already have the emulator installed on your computer and if you don't you can first have a look at our clip about installing the emulator. So let's begin with running the application on the server. So to do this you need a rich client program which I've already set up here, Hello World, just a simple program. You need to define it with a public name. So here we've got Mobile Program and you need to have the external checkbox clicked. The only other thing that you need is to make sure that you've got a setting here that the deployment mode is set to background, which we've already got here. And it has to run in the background so that it can handle requests from the mobile RIA client. Then we're going to run the application on Magic Server, and you can do it directly by starting the runtime engine, or like I'm going to do here, by pressing this button here. And then you see that the application is executing. And then you just go ahead here to the broker icon, double click on it, and you can see that the application is running. So that's what we need to do in the Magic XPA Studio. Now you need to configure the Android client to connect to your Magic server. And this configuration you can do either in the Android client or an external file that the Android client will read. And in this sample, we'll use an external file to store the connection settings. And this way, it's easier to change the settings without having to rebuild the Android client each time. And to make things easier, we'll just use a sample file, which you can find in the folder where you installed Magic. And just look for this RIA modules folder. We're going to click it. And since we're using the Android emulator, we'll find it here under the Android folder. And here you'll see devprops.txt. And when we open it up, you'll see this file already contains the lines that you need. And all we have to do is edit the file. So this here is your IP address. So let's go ahead and find our IP address. And here we'll see it right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. And the next line here is the requester's path on the web server. We need to make sure that the alias name, Magic Scripts, is actually pointing to the Scripts folder. So let's go ahead and check that. Control Panel, Administrative Tools, and we'll go ahead and open up here the IIS Manager, which you have to have installed on your computer. And here we've got the magic scripts. And we'll just click to make sure that it actually goes to the scripts folder, which it does, so we're good to go. And the next property here is, is the app name, which we had as Hello World. And the program name is actually the public name that we set in Magic. And we had called that mobile program. So we want to place this file on an exposed web server, such as Magic Scripts, which we just saw. And it's actually best to create an alias that is specific for your project, and you do that in IIS. But for right now, we'll use Magic Scripts. So we're going to save this file to the Scripts folder, which we saw earlier is connected to the Magic Scripts alias. And just go ahead and save it here. Now we need to configure the Android client to connect to this file. And you can do this as part of the customization of your Android client, but that will show you in a different movie. Here we're going to use the generic Android client, which you can find in the same place where you found the dev props text file. So here it's called magic dev.apk. We're going to use that. And we just need to go ahead and copy it into the scripts folder. Now we're going to see how to install the Android client on the emulator and run it. So let's go and open the Android emulator, which is right over here. And here you'll see two virtual devices that we defined. This Android for demos, what we defined in a previous clip. I'm just going to click on that and click Start and Launch. And have a bit of patience while it loads. So there are several ways to deploy the Android client. You can either run the APK file on your device, let's say by getting the APK file as an email attachment and then just clicking on it. Or you can also use the ADB command line utility from the Android SDK. And this is also explained in this concept paper here in the Magic XPA help. You can find more information about this under running your application on a mobile device or simulator. There's a lot of good information here in the concept paper. Or you can do it over the air, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to click here on the Browse icon. 
and browse to the server where the APK file exists. And for this to work, you need to put the APK file on an exposed folder on the web server, which we did earlier by saving it to the Magic Scripts alias. And now we'll browse here to this location where we saved it. Oh, HTTP, and then our IP address and the magic scripts, which we saw earlier, and the name of the APK file. And then you'll see it says starting download. Okay, and then just drag this down and you'll see download complete and just double click on that. Do you want to install this application? Next. Install. And it's installing. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and click on done. Click on home. And on this button, and now you'll see that it's here. You can see the Android client in the application drawer. Okay, and let's click on it to launch it. And since we use the generic client, this dialog box comes up, and here you need to enter the URL that refers to the execution properties file, that dev prop dot text file. So again, we'll type in here our IP address, magic scripts, and dev props dot text, and click OK to run your application. Go ahead and click on the broker icon, and you'll see that the context is one and that the requests increase. So you see the Android client is sending requests to the server, so the number increases. Note that when customizing the client, you can define the URL in the Android client so your users will not need to see the dialog box that we saw on the previous screen. And there's our application up and running on the Android emulator. Thanks, and join us again soon for some more magic.